Babylonia has succumbed to the continuous invasions of the Aramaeans, yet another semi-nomadic tribe from the west. The empire has been reduced to poverty, and our kings hold on to little more than their grand titles. Things are about to change, however. An Assyrian general named Tiglath-Pileser has rebelled against his king and has taken the throne. He is willing to support our new king Nabonassar to retake land lost to the Aramaeans, our common enemy. Nabonassar commands you to revitalize the Babylonian armies and destroy the invaders encroaching on our territory. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Voices of Babylon campaign. I'm Don Hayes, this is Scenario 7, Lord of the Euphrates, and this is probably the hardest mission within the Babylonian campaign. This is um, a mission which pitches you basically in the middle of the Northern Arameans, red, and the Western Amoraeans in yellow. So we're basically sandwiched between two enemies, and um, we're going to approach this one slightly differently. Let's begin. So this strategy just makes our lives a little bit, or makes this mission far more manageable. Uh, but also makes our lives a lot easier. So we're going to send one worker up here. This worker is going to pick up an army. This is going to take down red. Um, which then leaves us to 1v1 yellow. In which we are going to build a navy and basically stop them from ever landing on our shores. Which is ultimately what they their gimmick. So we're going to send these guys back. Set these guys to no attack ground. So speed is of the essence with this mission. We need to cripple the enemy's economy ASAP Rocky. So the big threat from red is cavalry. Everything else is manageable. They are basically crippled at this point, so what we're going to want to do is pull off houses, get you guys to build a dock. Actually, advisable to build two docks. Make sure no villager escapes. They can't build any more. This should be the last villager. Okay. Now we need to just build a fleet. How they managed to build two cavalry after all that is beyond me. So even though they are crippled, that is a problem we're going to have to deal with. Um, to build our own thing. To build this here. Build a watchtower. So now we need to control the seas at this point. OK, 
Killing the enemy um, docks isn't going to do much for us. The enemy just rebuilds it. Um, a couple of these just to, as a defence. They say red is, for all intents and purposes, dead. Um, it's just yellow we need to deal with. Their base is very well protected. Oh, they managed to send all their troops over there. Interesting. Okay, cool. That actually is pretty good. That's that I don't have to worry about for the most part. So they can attack. They'll they'll drop here and here. So it's there's not like one position you can basically build a fleet that protects your base. Unfortunately, that would be great if it was, but that is not the case. I'm purely using the cavalry as defence, just in case anything does make it to our land. We are going to want to age up as soon as we're able to. We're going to want to start building farm eco now as well. This point is probably worth us building a second base over here. Build a government centre building there. Again, destroying the dock doesn't do anything. They'll just rebuild it somewhere else. In fact, if anything, that's actually a pretty good place for us. As far as docks go. It's quite easy to defend and protect from both sides. At this point I'd rather not build any more boats so obviously we're going to try and keep them alive as best we can. Okay not sure what killed me there. Send that cavalry boys. Must have something that they've uh, built or rebuilt. I'm actually sending all that out, it's good. It's a free kill on their army. Okay, so it was uh was that then. She didn't want to build that. Definitely don't want to be taking a fight with that. What I want to, the reason I wanted to build that is so I can build a town centre. There is a gold mine over here that I want. And then we are pretty much just um, pushing towards aging up at this point. We are basically going to push towards horse archers, hence why they need the age up. So we're actually going to farm, focus on farms now at this point. I just want to build a siege workshop. And we need to build up the uh, Stone Age build up uh, Bronze Age buildings as well. So we are going to build a marketplace.
Yeah, we don't really want to destroy it because then we don't know where their dock is. And that can just lead them to basically attacking us where we don't expect them to. More houses. Void. Taking unnecessary damage. Good. Again, don't want to destroy the docks. I'm just cycling these around. I'm actually going to build a transport ship at this point. Raise wise, you want horses. You want to have that. Eye on these. This is the one thing that can ruin our day at this point. Okay, at this point, what I'm going to do is build. Load of archery ranges, point four. Wow. I swear, you leave them alone for two seconds. It's like constantly having to babysit units in this game. to that uh yeah, we should be enough to age up definitely can't let that slide okay. next strap that we want to employ is using These two. Just to create a little uh, bridgehead for us. To spearhead our assault. Controlling yellow is uh, it's challenging, but it's, uh, it's a must must do. Okay, at this point, horse archers for days. Just control these guys as well. Don't need wood so much now. Okay, a couple of upgrades, key upgrades that we need. One is this. 
one is this for plus one range. Uh, I want this and this. Call that. Uh, wrong one. Although that is a good one too, actually. In fact, at this point, I've got loads of gold. We should be focusing more on food. And we don't want to destroy the dock because then I won't know where they built it again. Fire ship upgrades, that's nice. I'm actually going to drop those. These guys are pretty much just controlling their numbers a little bit. I'm going to overdo it though. Suffice to say, the enemy is relentless. Wow, that killed a lot. Nice. Okay, at this point, we should be able to start our war. Oh, this is the unupgraded transport. I need to upgrade that for starters. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. See how relentless they are with their transports though. If you let them go unchecked, oof. Good luck. Nice upgrade getting pretty good. We're already capped, so we might need to start killing off some fills. Cool, we've got a little bridge hurt. Now we can start assaulting the enemy. to protect the top side more than the bottom side. Cavalry are the big problem, to be clear, of what the enemy builds. To be fair, at this point, even if they did land on us, we've actually got a big enough army and production that we'd be fine anyway. Not that I want that to happen, of course, but... At 
this point, I'm going to start pushing into their territory proper. And outrange their towers. I think this might be my favourite track. The Huns are coming! Da -da 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 -da. It's the buildings you want to target first, mostly our stables. Okay, that's that taken care of. Okay, we're basically maxed at this point, so... Once again, I need to start killing off some tr like fills. Da -da. Did a little loop, did a little loop. And I'll tell you what, the music in all the age old titles. They really are good. Very catchy, some of them. Dun, dun, dun. Right, let's finish off red. I think they've got a uh, watchtower over there, which is probably why they're staying in the game for some reason. Let's take down the uh, town centre. Nice. them out. Somehow red's still in. Haven't really got much left to destroy, right? Like three buildings. Oops. Oh, they've got the two cavalry that ran off. That's what it is. So I'm going to track them down to the end of the earth, and aren't I? Where do they run off to? Or is it ships? Let's check them up down here. Ah, oh, there's a ship. The enemy in there resigning is so weird to me. You have achieved a great feat by defeating our enemies, and Nabonassar has promoted you to Field General. For as long as Nabonassar lives, Babylonia will be independent. What will happen after he dies is yet to be seen. Alrighty folks, well that'll right about do it for me and this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel does help support the channel would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.